to experience the wonders of Africa. One must endure unbearable temperatures. Wade through thick jungle terrain. And navigate sometimes choppy waters. But is this really necessary? In today's increasingly interconnected world, it may seem like the distances between places grows ever shorter. With the flow of goods, abundant people-to-people -people exchanges and a booming global trading system, it may make it seem like you can hold the whole world in your hands. And while this may make the world seem smaller, well, not this small, it does mean that we no longer need to embark on lengthy voyages to experience the rich variety of cultural treats our world has to offer. Right here in Beijing, for instance, I don't need to travel far to feel like I've gone on a true cross-continental journey, with the fantastic flavours of Africa being available just around the corner. I'm popping into the Tribe Garden in the bustling centre of the Chinese capital, which specialises in exquisite African cuisine. Run by Ghanaian chef and longtime China resident Benjamin, the recently opened restaurant has quickly established itself as a must-visit spot for those looking to experience authentic African food. Today, Ben and his team have prepared a sizzling selection of dishes to transport my taste buds right to the heart of Africa. And we start with the chef's own personal favourite, his take on a classic beans and plantain, packed with five different flavourful spices, which he revealed come from a very special source. Actually, these spices that we use are made by my mom. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, Tulu spices, big shout outs to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it makes our food taste very different and uh, you're not going to find this taste anywhere. Has your mom tried your, your recipe for this? You know, funny enough, she hasn't, oh. you know, I haven't seen it in five years, so she yeah. hasn't tried it yet, but I'm sure she would love it. Next up, a dish which has proved surprisingly popular with local Chinese customers, the Egasi soup, which is accompanied with an eba or fufu, a unique sticky dough ball which adds to the fun dining experience. This is actually the most famous meal among Chinese people. Funny enough, <laughs> they love their goosey so much, it's uh, top number one. And why do you think it is that it's become such a popular dish here amongst um, the local Chinese? I, I think um, it's like it's something that they've been yearning to try. Mm. So for them, it's like, how do I taste something from Africa without going to Africa? Ben first came to Beijing with the idea of one day becoming a diplomatic envoy. But thanks to his mouth-watering meals, which pay homage to his hometown roots, he's now serving as a true cultural ambassador between China and and Africa. There's another key African export that is really quenching the thirst of Chinese consumers, and it's something that a lot of us really need to wake up in the morning. Of course, I'm talking about coffee. In a land most famous for its love of tea, China is now fast developing a passion for a different form of caffeine, and this coffee culture is certainly brewing strongly here in the northern port city of Tianjin. As tastes become more refined, this has presented a huge opportunity for several coffee-growing countries across Africa to tap into this ever-expanding market. I've been granted behind-the-scenes access to see just how the magic happens at the Zhujiang Coffee Roasting Factory, where African beans are being blended alongside those from Indonesia and Colombia to create the perfect mix. Beijo的 These far-travelled beans have journeyed thousands of kilometres to get here amid the surging demand on the Chinese market, with exports of Uganda's highly regarded Robusta coffee seeing a remarkable 81% increase in the last two years alone. We Uganda is the most coffee coffee in the world. We plan to expand the coffee 
增加乌干达咖啡在中国的市场份额。More and more Chinese companies are now building up their businesses and cooperating with local growers across the continent as they look to meet the ever-increasing demand. This is our Mi-Ying Global Chinese Cafe in Luanda's cooperative production hub. We export every month from Luanda direct coffee, one ton to the Chinese market. As I've seen and tasted, the vibrancy and availability of some of Africa's finest agricultural products shows just how strong the appetite is here in China for these products, highlighting the huge economic potential on offer. All signs point towards the China-Africa partnership continuing to be a roaring success.